What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the shop. I have been cleaning and organizing and you'll probably notice it in this video, some things are moved around, but I think it's gonna be for the best. And I don't know what you do, but whenever I'm cleaning, that's a good time for me just to think about stuff. And what I was thinking was, it would be cool to make a dovetail tray. So what I started doing was I prepped some materials. I've got some oak, some sapile, some, some maple. Uh, I got some walnut. And I'm thinking that would be a cool base that I can make for the tray and then do a frame out of that, out of walnut, dovetails, some sort of handle design. I don't know, I'm just gonna make it up off the fly. So the next step for me is to get this bottom section, all these pieces prepped, milled down, cut into whatever slices I need. I don't know, I do some math, start gluing things up. I milled up all my boards and cut them to size, so now I have two glue-ups to do. I've got one pattern here that has sapili, oak, and walnut. The other one here has oak, maple, and walnut, so I'll glue these together, let it dry, and then I'll come back, cut it into blocks, combine all the blocks together. That will be the bottom panel for our tray. I got the bottom panel of my tray glued up and I wanna give that plenty of time to cure. So now I'm gonna work on the design of the sides of the tray, which is gonna be made out of walnut. And this is what I came up with for the short sides. Um, nice swoopy handle, 
big swoop here on the on the middle and I like that it comes down and then comes back up again. Um, I think this just gives it a cool look. So I made this on the CNC with some particle board to use as my template for routing out uh, the profile for my handles. So I still need to work on the long sides too. I think I wanna mimic uh, this swoop here uh, on those long sides. So next step is break down some walnut to make the sides, get these pieces made. We made a lot of progress today. We got the bottom panel glued up. That's looking pretty good. I gotta get this planed and sanded down uh, to the final thickness. We made the sides for the tray. Got the handles, got the sides to it. The next step is gonna be putting these two together. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some dovetails. So the next video that comes out is gonna be on my sharpening method because if I'm gonna do dovetails, I wanna touch up all of my chisels. So if you wanna see how I sharpen chisels on plain blades, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be alerted whenever that video gets posted. And maybe share this content with somebody who might enjoy videos like this. Until next time, get in your shop and build something awesome.